Gary Owens, Jamaican stripper. I may or may not know something about this. Let's go. I gotta tell you a story about last summer, I got booked in Jamaica, right? I've never been to Jamaica. I get booked by Jamaicans, right? So I got booked in this little city called Ocho Rios, right? I never been to Ocho Rios. So I find out there's no airport in Ocho Rios. You have to fly into Montego Bay and catch a, catch a car. You gotta drive about two hours to get to Ocho Rios, right? Uh -uh. So when I found that out, I, I got online and I reserved a limousine to take me from Montego Bay to Ocho Rios. Uh -uh. Now what I didn't know <laughs> is that Jamaican limousines are quite different than Georgia limousines. Cause I get off the plane, some bitch pulls up in a Kia with limo written in Sharpie on the side. That, that's not what I ordered, I ordered a limousine. Thing. You got a goat in the back seat. What's up with the goat? I ain't paying for the goat. That's extra. I ain't paying for the goat. So, so I had to get to my show, right? So I, I, I get in the Kia. We riding, right? We get, uh, we get to my resort. Man. I'm booked on this resort, right? It's a private resort. There's a private beach on it. I go up to my room. It's about 4 o'clock. I open the curtains. They got me a big-ass suite. I'm right on the water. I look out. There's nobody on the water. Oh, this is a private beach. So I put on my swim trunks, and I run out to the beach. I want you to go relax for a few hours on the beach by myself, get my thoughts together. I'm on the beach less than five minutes. Three Jamaican dudes come out of nowhere trying to sell me pot. It's like, buy it, big man, buy it. I was like, first of all, where'd you come from? Because nobody's on the beach. It's like, these motherfuckers was in the sand and came out. I was like, were you in the sand? So I bought the pot. I did. I bought it. I did. <laughs> and honest to God, I had never smoked pot before that. They haven't smoked it since, but I figured... Man, you better be careful buying weed in Jamaica. Not because it's suspect, because they don't... You're not supposed to be smoking weed in Jamaica. It's not actually as freely smoked as you think it is. You'll be in jail somewhere, boy. Good times. Gary Owen, lock the hell up. I'm in Jamaica. That's what you do in Jamaica. You smoke pot, you know? I've never been to whorehouse either. But if I go to whorehouse, I'm probably going to fuck a whore. Because that's what you do at a whorehouse. But I've never been. I haven't. I haven't. But, but if I go to a whorehouse, watch. Like, if you watch. ever see me at a whorehouse, don't be like, Gary, what are you doing here? I'm fucking whores. What are you doing here, dumbass? I ain't come for the salad, bitch. <laughs> All right, let me get back to Jamaica. I got sidetracked. Sorry about that. So, all right, so now, all right, now let's fast forward. Now it's midnight, right? My show's over. Show went great, right? So I'm there, and I'm with my buddy Brad, and me and Brad are partying. Brad's like, Gary, let's go out. Let's go see what Ultra Rios is about. I said, shit, let's go. So we call a cab, right? I kid you not. That same son bitch that picked me up in that Kia limo pulled up in the same car. He erased limo and wrote taxi on it. Same fucking car. I go, hey, man, it's the same car. He goes, no, 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 man. It's a limo till 8. 801 becomes taxi. I was like... <laughs> so listen, if you ever go to Ocho Rios, everyone's going to tell you, go to this little tourist bar called Margaritaville, right? It's a cool little bar, but Margaritaville's closed on Tuesday. Only night it's closed this Tuesday. We happen to be there on a Tuesday night. So my taxi slash limo driver took me and Brad up in the hills to a place called Shades. Now, Shades is a strip club. We ain't no strip club until we got there. We show up. There's no sign. There's no windows. It's just a wall with a steel door that doesn't open. It slides. Steel. Doesn't open. It slides. So me and Brad knock on the steel door. Jamaica dude slides it open. We took one step in, and he slid it back. I looked at Brad, I was like, this might be a bad idea. No. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. steel. You ever seen the movie Hostel? Same shit. So, yeah. yeah, we separate. I'm out. I'm not trying to find you. I'm gone. So, come on, Brad, link up. Red Rover, this shit. We got to stay together on this. Yeah. So, Red Rover. <laughs> so, when you go in the stage, right, the lady's here to take your money, and then there's about 50 steps going down, but you don't know where the steps are going. So, we're walking down the steps. We hit the bottom step. Biggest strip club I've ever seen in my life. I'm talking 25, 30 poles, about 45, 50 strippers. Oh. And then I noticed the strippers, they weren't just dancing, no. They were doing each other. They was going at it. I was like, yo! I think we're going to stay for a little bit. My Jamaican stripper worked in the opposite type of strip club. There was one pole, and it was in a house in the woods. Two red stripes, mom. Thank you very much. So I'm watching the girls do their thing, and you know, I'm enjoying the show. But I noticed one by one, all the girls started to leave the stage. They were all leaving. leaving. Pretty soon it was empty. There was no strippers left. Place was just, there was nobody out there. And then all the lights went out. Place just went dark. I tell you what, ain't nothing will sober your ass up quicker than being in a strip club in Jamaica and all the lights go out. Because my hand just went to my wallet. I was like, I ain't that fucked up shit. <laughs> and it was only dark for a few seconds, right? Then one spotlight hit the stage, and this girl came out the back. Beautiful. I'm talking 6'2", six, 6'3", six, big titties, big ass. And she came walking out real slow. And when she came out, the Jamaican dudes were nuts. They were like, book, 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 book. 
I looked at Brad, I go, who the fuck is Buck? <coughs> is young Buck here, is he performing? Sweet, we're gonna see a rap show, right? So, <laughs> so the girl's on stage, she's doing her thing, right? About 20 minutes later, this midget comes out the back, a man midget, a dude, right? And a dude was running over the stage, right? And when he came out, the Jamaican dudes were nuts. They was like, Irie, man, Irie, Buck, 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 Irie. I looked at Brad, I go, I think the midget's name is Buck Irie, that's what I've been waiting on, okay. So right now, right, so I'm in the front row, I'm watching the girl because she's naked, but I can see Buck out of my peripheral running around the stage, right? Pretty soon I lost him. I was like, wait a minute, where to find Buck go? I couldn't find Buck no more, right? So the girl was in front of me, she had like a half a Tootsie Roll. She was like, ugh. When she opened up her legs, Buck was standing behind her, right? And he was so short, we made eye contact. I go, oh, there you are, Buck, what the fuck? So then the girl did a full Tootsie Roll, she was like, Ugh, boom, and locked him in like a Lego. Like the motherfucker snapped between her, right? It was like they were made for each other, like he fit perfect, right? So now Buck's just stuck, right? So all he's got to do is raise up about a half an inch with his head up, he could handle his business. That's what he did. He was like, sick, sick, uh. I was like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> So Buck's handling it. Uh, then Buck backed up, sat down, started to take off his pants. I had a girl on my lap. I said, get on me, bitch. I want to see this shit. <laughs> Ain't game. How many times in your life you going to see a midget's dick, honestly? I just want to know, did he have a man dick or a midget dick? I ain't gay. I just want to know. Check that off my bucket list, bitch. So <laughs> Google that. So anyways, <laughs> Buck dropped his pants, and his dick fell below his knee. But his knee was way up here. <laughs> so I don't know if it's big, but it was proportional, right? Then Buck gets on top. He gets on top of this chick, and he starts killing it, killing it. I say, dude, I can't be watching this shit. This is weird, man. I'm watching a midget band, a six foot three chick, you know? I mean, I stayed for 45 minutes, and I left. You know, I ain't stayed for an hour. An hour makes me a pervert. 45 minutes makes me curious. Don't get it twisted. I ain't a motherfucking pervert. I was curious. <laughs> It'd be rude if you left too early. My Jamaican stripper story. So here's the deal. Uh, she's Jamaican by proxy, I guess. <laughs> she's not from Jamaica. She was in North Carolina. And strip clubs are a little different. They're not clubs. They're just like random folks' houses that they've converted into strip clubs. It's like Ray's Boom Boom Room. I'm at the Boom Boom Room. Yeah. That's what happened. It was like the, it was like the Jamaican club because it had to be like, it was like some weird old covert, but um, yeah, it was ghetto inside and outside. It was wonderful. You like Gary Owen, I like Gary Owen, clearly, and I have some other Gary Owen views to view, so why don't you view them with me? Click on one of those boxes.